Welcome to Millersburg News. Today is Monday, March 28, 2022. This is going to be the last time I report using police reports because I'm tired of reporting bad news. Uh, I in the in the future I'm just going to do the calendar, the Holmes County calendar, the obituaries, and any good news that I happen to find in the area, and I still might do. Uh, those that are incarcerated, arrested, so that we can pray for those. The March 26 police report stated that an assault occurred at the Sycamore Run Nursing Home on Route 83 in Millersburg. The incident was reported at 10.45 a.m., and when I called the nursing home to find out if the assault occurred inside the building or outside the building, I was passed from person to person. Finally, I was told that no information would be provided on this topic, so it remains unknown as to whether the assault occurred to a patient or someone else inside the building or perhaps even an unrelated person outside the building. At 1.45 p.m. that same day, police were called to stop a fight occurring at the Koblenz Chocolate Company in Walnut Creek. Uh, I'm assuming this was outside in the parking lot somewhere. Since there were no reports of injury or arrest relating to that incident, it appears as though the police were able to quell the fight and send the people home. Please subscribe to this channel to help keep it going, and also don't forget to hit the thumbs up. At 2 p.m. Saturday, either money or property was stolen from the Subway restaurant in Berlin on Main Street. At 7.30 that same day, 26-year-old Payne McCluggage of Millersburg was taken into police custody for theft. A car buggy accident occurred at 3.11 p.m. at 6784 Township Road 423 in Dundee. Thank God there were no reports of injury on the police report. In addition to the arrest of Mr. McCluggage mentioned earlier, also arrested was 38-year-old Crystal Perkins of Millersburg for failure to appear. Also arrested was 26-year-old Bryce Fields of Millersburg. He was charged with child endangering and is being held without bond. 39-year-old Brant Whitman was also arrested for disorderly conduct. Last night, the Smith Funeral Home in Sugar Creek listed a new obituary for 80-year-old Connie Kayser of Sugar Creek, who passed away on Saturday, March 26th. To view obituaries, please click on the link in the description box below for millersburgnews.com. Please join me in praying for the family of Connie Kayser and also those who were arrested yesterday and the day before. Our Heavenly Father, we ask you to cover the family of Connie with your Holy Spirit peace and comfort as they work through this very difficult time of grief. And we also pray for the four individuals who were arrested as well as their families and everyone else connected with these people. Any who are in need of your salvation, please draw them into repentance and salvation and bring justice, salvation, and peace to everyone involved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.